Howdy folks, we're going to have a clean water instructional video about how to service your P24 pump, your precision digital pump. Uh, a lot of reasons cause, uh, several reasons can cause loss of prime issues. Uh, the first and foremost is when you get your pump new and it's after it's ran for about an hour, you want to check the Allen head bolts on the back of the pump head and make sure that they uh, didn't loosen up a little bit. They want to be tight and snug, but not too tight. If you over tighten them, the diaphragm inside will have a hard time traveling. Uh, there is no torque value for it, unfortunately, but it's not too overly difficult. If it's too loose, obviously you're gonna have chlorine solution coming out of the bottom and forming. So if you ever walk up to the pump and you see salt right there, which is an indication of chlorine that is dried or white fur as it also looks like, any place where you see white fur, which is the chlorine salt, it means you got a leak somewhere, so you need to address it. Whenever you're doing any of this stuff, put on dirty clothes and be wearing some eyewear as far as that goes, even though usually your chlorine solution is diluted, better safe than sorry, you might want to put on some rubber gloves too or wash your hands right afterwards. Uh, but anywhere you see white salt deposits, get a wet paper towel and rinse those away first as far as that goes. One of the, so the, 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 the pump head, making sure the bolts are tightened. Uh, if you're getting solution back feeding into the tank, your solution tank level is rising, that often indicates that the injection check valve is uh, failing. And a lot of times it just needs to be cleaned. You just need to take it apart and clean it. And we have a separate video about that. And I will say that there are generally two, two types of injection check valve. One of them is this type, which is what the video refers to. And on the inside of the injection check valve, when we unscrew it, we have the spring that holds the ball. We have a spring in there, and we hold the ball. And then there's the thing that holds the ball and spring down. And then there's the rubber washer that keeps it all as a tight seal and pushes it in. So you need to take all that apart and clean it and inspect it. If the spring is completely wore out, it is time to get a new check valve as far as that goes. So that's, that's, the, that's, that's the one style. The other style is the same on all the inlet Inlet outlet fitting, this is the outlet going to service, this is the inlet coming in from the pump, and then the foot valve in the bottom. All of those ones have the same type of thing when you unscrew them. I've got one in my hand, and I've got one that's sitting in there that I've already pushed forward. You need something to go through this end and push it out, so then you're holding both of them in your hand. After you get them cleaned off, and dried off, you can blow through them one direction and you can't blow through them the other direction and that's how they work. There's two of them stacked up there. Sometimes there'll be a little black spacer in there too, sometimes there won't. You'll see it when you take it apart. But you always need them both facing the same direction. If you go like that, then one's gonna be trying to go in and one's gonna be trying to go out and that's not gonna work. So you have them oriented one way and you can blow through it and you have them oriented the other way and you can't blow through it and that's one set goes in the bottom, one set goes in the top so this might come this might get salted up or uh, it needs to be cleaned off as far as that goes and that would be the inlet outlet and the inlet outlet fittings and the uh, uh, foot valve fittings so uh, if you think that's what's happening then you can take all those fittings off and clean them if it's the foot valve when the pump is off and you leave it off for a couple of hours the tubing down in the tank, you should, you'll start seeing an air bubble and it's telling you the foot valve isn't holding in and the water's back feeding into the tank. But when the water level is rising in the tank, that means that's indicating that it's back feeding, it's getting water from your source, which is indicating that the injection check valve is failing, okay? So the other thing is, is uh, uh, especially during the summer, everything starts heating up, so the tubing connections can be loosened where we have the cone and the collet attached to the, to the tubing. Uh, so if you see salting up around there, trim a quarter inch off the pipe, nice and square like the other video shows you, and then redo your connection. And a lot of times that's all that needs it. Remember, if any of these connections stop being water air tight, if they stop being tight, then you're gonna have loss of prime issues. 
Part of the reason that you have loss of prime issues in the summertime is because water heats up and, it, and it's more loose and your fittings might move around and that's sort of one of the things you want to be looking at. So during the hot summer months, uh, you're, we, we, you can't leave it outdoors. It's got to be in some type of enclosure out of direct sunlight, but that doesn't mean uh, up to about 110 degrees the pump will perform. If it's going to be 115, 120 degrees where you are, some type of fan, something to keep it cool is going to be necessary. Another thing about the heat is if you have solution in your tank, the solution strength when you dilute it with water in the summer, if it's pretty hot out, it's only going to be good for about 30 days. So add like a quarter cup or excuse me, yes, add, add a quart, 16 ounces of 12% uh, chlorine bleach and five gallons of water and use that as your solution strength to get where you need to go. If, if you start pumping and it's too high, your chlorine residual is too high, then add some more water. A quarter, a, a quart to five gallons is a very rich solution strength for most home applications as far as that goes. In the summer months, the chlorine should be changed out every 30 days. In the winter, when it's cooler out, it should still be every 45 to 60 60 days. Only if you were running straight pure chlorine would it be about a three month cycle. So that's a good thing to remember is you don't necessarily want to fill the solution tank up because over time the chlorine is going to, uh, the chlorine value, the, the, uh, the effectiveness of it is going to go down. Uh, last few points is if you have a contact tank, you're always wanting once a week, you should get a clipboard and have it over by the contact tank and the tap. You should always install a tap to draw water from out of the contact tank so it's easy to do and test the water about once a week. Once the chlorine pump fails and stops and stops putting chlorinated water into the contact tank, then your iron and manganese problems are going to start coming back as far as that goes. So that's all the basics, folks. Thanks a whole lot.